Disclaimer. Stock trading is inherently risky and the users agree to assume complete and full responsibility for the outcomes of all trading decisions that they make, including but not limited to loss of capital. Matthew, chapter 25 verse 14 to 30, For it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. For today's video, we are going to talk about, why do most traders fail in the stock market? Basically, to become a successful trader the equation is really quite simple. Knowledge, plus, experience, plus, effort, equals, success no consistently profitable full-time trader has ever told me they got there through luck. All followed these simple steps. Step 1. They acquired the knowledge. Step 2. Once they had acquired the knowledge they developed their experience. Step 3. Those two steps are of no use unless the trader is willing to put in the effort to achieve their trading goals. A further statistic is that learning to trade the stock market takes two to five years. There is no alternative for hard effort, and there are no shortcuts to becoming a skilled trader. In truth, self-education involves both dedication and effort. But you don't have to be a genius or a rocket scientist to regularly win from stock market investing. In fact, I believe that not being a rocket scientist is advantageous. Limited knowledge about stock market transactions. This leads us to the single most important reason why most stock market traders fail to generate money, a lack of understanding. We may also include bad education in this category since many people desire education but search in all the wrong areas, resulting in a poor education. Indeed, many individuals call themselves traders merely because they purchase and sell stocks. When asked how they assess the stocks they purchase and sell, they say they read newspaper and website stories and sometimes look at online charts with their broker. When pressed further, they admit that, although they had a general knowledge of the basic facts required to evaluate a company, they had little or no clue what they were looking at when it comes to comprehending how to read a chart and none of them had a strategy or a clue about money management. Trading stocks entails risk. However, most market enthusiasts believe they can trade after reading a few books or taking a weekend course, so they take more risks. Many traders want fast satisfaction and go into the stock market with intricate tactics to make money. Unrealistic expectations cost many their money. Knowledge is essential, but in trading, using the right knowledge is vital. In a bull market, many wannabe traders benefit largely by chance. I think that until you've been trading the stock market effectively for more than two years, you're not a trader. Bull markets disguise blunders and ignorance. Stock trading challenges. The problem is that poor people are more emotionally tied to their money and cannot afford to lose it. Thus, if the deal goes wrong even marginally, the fear of losing comes in, causing bad judgments and losses. Then, many monitor their transactions daily or intraday or base their choices on short-term market volatility. In order to recover lost wealth or profit, people overtrade. In conclusion, it is essential to recognize that effective trading is not simple and calls for self-discipline, patience, a desire to learn and adapt, and openness to new information. Traders may improve their odds of being successful in the market by coming up with a sound investing strategy, implementing an efficient risk management plan, and maintaining a disciplined trading approach. That's all thank you for watching. I hope you learn many new things about the stock market. Kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Also follow us on our Facebook page to learn more about the stock market.